What about interrupting the Shmon Esra? So most of us are familiar, there is a mission in the Sechaz Brachas. Afilu nachush karach ala keva lo yafsik. If you have a snake around your hill, don't stop your Shmon Esra. I challenge you. <laughs> snake around your hill. To continue focusing on your Shmon Esra. But that's reality, Shara. <laughs> right, that's a, you know, to continue... Continue focusing on your on your shmona esrei. Right? Not meaning because if you can't focus, then of course you have to. What are you doing? But to continue focusing on your shmona. So uh, yeah. So what about interrupting? So it's a few nachos karach alakevel. So it seems very bad over here. Even even if the squirrels around your ankle, you're not allowed to be mafsik. So yeah. So we're we're mechalik the gemara and brachos lam and gimel amr of sheizlo shanuel nachash of lakrik posik. But if it's dangerous, if it's something that's gonna that's gonna kill you, so then you could stop. Yeah, but uh, as far as you know, the squirrel's not dangerous, even if it's... Uh, so, so Luchari, you shouldn't be able to stop. And the Rambam writes, Ein ha-mispalel mafsik tefilaso el mitmei sakonas nefashos bilvad. Sakonas nefashos, that's it. Short of that, you don't know... Would, it, would these people bench Gomel? They really thought of sakonas nefashos? So probably not. So I thought that maybe it's a problem, but then you just look a little bit further and you see that it's not a problem at all. Beis Yosef writes in Simon Kovdal in Nimra Benu Yona. Benu Yona says on that uh, on that Kamara, Chafal from Ralph Bedaper Rif, Viafal Pishen the Lahavsik Ule Daber, Afilu Hachi Yachal Laleches, Kidei Sheashlichenu Meelav, Shalom Matzinu Halicha, Shenikres Havsaka Bishum Makom. Says Rabbi Benu Yona, we we have to define the term Mafsik. What does it mean that you're not allowed to be Mafsik when there's a Nachash on you? It doesn't mean you're not allowed to pause. It doesn't even mean you're not allowed to move. It means you're not allowed to speak. So if you're a middle shmanes, right, and there's something that's mafria you, something that's in your way that's bothering you, move somewhere else and continue davening. And that's perfectly fine. And that's what Shulchan Aruch Paskins. Shulchan Aruch Paskins from Kuf Dalit Siv Gimel. Va'afil nachash karachal akevelo yafsik. Aval says the Rama. Yochal lelech l'mokom acher kedei shiipol enachash meragla. You could go somewhere else so that the nachash will get off of your, of your foot. Taz questions it, so there's a big tumult in the poskim. Bir Alacha says at the end, what I quoted in the Mishnah Brewer is correct. They could certainly rely that Alicha is not called a hefsik, and therefore you're able to walk away. It's not a, it's not a problem. In fact, I saw in the, uh, in the later achronim, uh, they, they, they give examples. The Piske Chubas quotes from all the uh, later Akronim who gives a, give examples. And what do they say? Piske Chubas in Simon Kov Dalit, Ha'ara 55, writes, Happens sometimes in camp. You know, a bird gets into the shul and is flying around. And every kid is, you know, looking at the bird. and is, So the, the Kavan is gone at that point. Or there's a, in Eretz there are a lot of cats all over the place. So a cat walks into Shul. So that causes everyone, so it says Piskei Chuvis, move, go to a different room, go somewhere else and finish Yishma Nasri. That's enough. You don't need it to be the greatest. So in this case, with a scroll running around Shul, the rabbi, I think, did the right thing by saying, okay, everyone leave. Even if you're middle Shema Nasri, just leave. Go out, don't talk. Just go out of Shul and finish Yishma Nasri there. So I think that that's fine. What about being closer to the beginning of Shema Nasri? Does it have to be? So the halacha is, that only if he's mafsik k'dei ligmar skula, only if he's mafsik enough to finish the entire Shemona Esrei, then you'd, uh, you'd have to go back. But if he's not mafsik that much, then you wouldn't have to go back.